The Ricochet QuickBooks integration will allow you to send your sales and payout information to your QuickBooks online account. Before we get started, we do want to mention a few things. The first is that this integration is with the online version of QuickBooks, so you will need a subscription to their online service to utilize it. Second, you will need to use the Plus Level Subscription Package or higher. The Simple Start Package will not work with the integration. Finally, this tutorial is going to reference aspects of QuickBooks in context with the integration. We will aim to give you enough information to understand the integration, where the information goes, and how it is displayed, but you may need to seek out other tutorials on QuickBooks itself to get a better understanding of the program. We'll start out in your Ricochet account. Go to Preferences, then Admin, click on Integrations, then on QuickBooks. Now you can click on the Connect to QuickBooks to start the integration process. If you are not currently logged into your QuickBooks account, then you will be brought to a login screen. Once you add in your QuickBooks user information, you will confirm the integration in QuickBooks. Once you are brought back to the software, click on the QuickBooks tab again, and you will see the status show connected in the name of the QuickBooks account. Now that the accounts are synced, you can sync your payout information and sales data. Start out by choosing to sync the consigner accounts to send payouts to QuickBooks. To do this, you just need to click Synchronize Consigners with QuickBooks. Now this only needs to be done once, because once the integration is set, any new consigners added into the system with payout information will automatically be sent over to QuickBooks when that payout occurs. They will also have a QuickBooks vendor ID, and this is a unique ID given to the consigners in QuickBooks. It's also good to note that this number can be found in the URL for the consigners account in QuickBooks, as well as in the Ricochet account on their account details page. Now to start the sales integration, there's gonna be two toggle buttons. One for the sales reporting QuickBooks integration, which will send over an invoice to QuickBooks at the end of the day. And then another for cost reporting, which is going to send over sales journal entries at the end of the day. Now we suggest turning both of these on, and in most situations that will be the case. The only reason why you may want to leave off the cost reporting is from a very specific reason from your accountant. So now that we've established both of these integrations, let's quickly discuss what Ricochet is going to send over to QuickBooks every single day, along with the information that Ricochet will create in QuickBooks. Much of this data is from the previous day's sales summary report in Ricochet POS and is transferred to QuickBooks by creating and populating the following three transaction types. Revenue data from the previous day's sales summary report in Ricochet Point of Sale is populated as a QuickBooks invoice. Monetary tender data from the sales summary report in Ricochet is populated in one or more QuickBooks customer payments. One QuickBooks customer payment is created for each monetary tender type, which will include cash, check, credit or debit, PayPal, Venmo, or other. Also note, tender types like store credit and rewards are qualified as non-monetary tender types and will be visible within the invoice. Consigner amount, store inventory cost, and store purchase cost data from the previous day's sales summary report is populated in a QuickBooks journal entry. You will now see a new income account called Rico Sales as well as a new income account called Rico Rewards. There will also be a new liability accounts for tax, consigner credit, store credit, gift cards, rewards, and layaway. Ricochet will also create a COGS report called Rico COGS, and will also create payment methods for cash, credit debit, check, Venmo, PayPal, EBT, and other. To utilize the payout integration, simply go to the Payouts Report under the Action section or to the Payout tab under a consigner's account. 
Now you will just choose the expense list that you will attach the bills to. We cannot stress this enough that we suggest using the consigner liability account that Ricochet created within the integration. Then hit post. It's also good to note that the payout process is a queued process, meaning QuickBooks decides when they will accept the information. So if you are running a large payout and consigners are still visible, give it a minute or two for the entire payout to be accepted by QuickBooks. If we jump over to QuickBooks, we can review where your payout and sales information will appear. All consigner accounts will appear in the vendor section, and after a payout is sent, then you will see the amount owed under the open balance column. Now sales data will be sent to two places. Ricochet will create a daily invoice and a sales journal entry. When in invoices, you can click the arrow on the far right hand side, then click view edit. This is going to give you your sales broken down by category, then show your liabilities discounts, tax, return, and tender types that are considered liabilities, consigner credit, rewards, etc. If you scroll to the top of the page, you'll be able to see the Payments Made button. This will allow you to show your positive tender types, like cash, card, check, or Venmo. Click the X in the upper left-hand corner to exit this report. Finally, there will be a sales journal entry created. This will be available in the journal report under the For My Accountant section. Scroll down the page to get to the sales journal, and by clicking on Journal Entry, you're going to see a line item for the consigned good costs sold, as well as your store cost or retail item cost, then a credit to the consigner liability account. Now we do understand that this integration may be pretty overwhelming. So feel free to reach out to Ricochet if you have any questions, or if you would like to learn more about our internal bookkeeping services to help out your business.